We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today and staying warm. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the videos. All right, you guys, so I've been asked over and over all week to do a video on the whole Jussie Sumlet situation. So I've been like keeping up with this story, but I've wanted to just kind of fall back and see how everything played out, okay? And right now, I have to be honest, some of you guys may get mad, some of y'all might come from a net, but it is what the fuck it is, okay? There's a lot of inconsistencies that are kind of troubling me with this story, okay? When it initially came out, I definitely felt bad. I don't think anyone should be attacked because of their gender, their sexual orientation, you know what I'm saying, the color of their skin, any of that stuff. So initially came out saying that Jesse was going to go grab a subway at two o'clock in the morning in Chicago. And he was accosted by two white men um, and they were wearing magnet hats and they were saying, aren't you that faggot from, um, you know, the show Empire? And they proceeded to beat him really bad. And the initial report said that he had a broken rib. He was beaten horribly. So of course, when, you know, when we all heard this, my heart went out to him because Jesse has never been problematic. I've never, you know, heard him really involved in any drama or anything like that. And like I said, nobody should be beaten like that. That's horrible, you know, to have a fractured rib, to have a rib broken. That's insane. Well, now as the days have gone on there's been more information coming out and it just seems like a lot of stuff is not adding up they're saying that when he initially did the first interview um nothing about a magna hat was ever you know initially spoken about until tmz reported that in a later interview and then after that um lee daniels came out with a video very very heartfelt video um for jesse it's taken me a minute to come to social media about this because Jesse, you are my son. You didn't deserve, nor anybody deserves, to have a noose put around your neck, to have bleach thrown on you, to be called die faggot nigger or whatever they said to you. You are better than that. We are, we are better than that. America is better than that. It starts at home. It starts at home, yo. We have to love each other, regardless of what sexual orientation we are. Because it shows that we are united on a united front. And no racist fuck can come in and do the things that they did to you. Hold your head up, Jesse. I'm with you. I'll be there in a minute. It's just another fucking day in America. And pictures started circulating of him in a hospital bed. And the only thing I saw was a scratch under his eye. But the initial report said he was beat to like a bloody pulp. You know what I'm saying? He had a rib broken. So I expected to see a lot more injury than what I saw in that picture, okay? And now, as we all know, like I spoke about initially in my first video earlier today, we are dealing with the polar vortex, okay? This is one of the coldest winters in history. It has been this cold in 150 years. Last night in Minneapolis, it was negative 29 below. Chicago has been dealing with negative 20 below weather. At two o'clock in the morning, that is one of the coldest times to be out, okay? So a lot of things are just sounding kind of fishy. He also stated that not only was he beat up, they put a noose around his neck and they poured bleach on him. Well, I went to research, well, you know, what temperature does, does bleach freeze at? Because I've been seeing a lot of people, you know, taking hot water, throwing it outside, and it's turning into snow. So I'm like, okay, who's walking around with bleach at two o'clock in the morning in negative 20 below weather, even if they went to go pour bleach on him, would it not have been frozen by the time they found him? I don't know, it just doesn't sound right. And when I went to Google, bleach freezes at 20 degrees. So if it's negative something, that bleach would have been frozen. 
And now another thing that's kind of bothering me with this situation is that the police have been asking Jesse to cooperate in the investigation because it came out later that him and his manager were on the phone talking during the attack. So that's ample, you know, evidence. And they're saying that Jesse doesn't want to give up his phone to the police. Other gay people in the community are now coming out. Milan Christopher has been one who's now come out. He's taken his support back and he's saying that he's finding a lot of holes in the story. Other people have been sending me articles that they feel like this might have been over-exaggeration. There might have been some other things involved. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys both sides. TMZ just reported as of two hours ago that the police saw video footage of Jesse having a rope around his neck. So I just don't know what to think right now. Like I said, I've just been trying to just keep up with everything with both sides. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and show you guys what Milan Christopher and a few other people have to say about Jesse Sumlet. Go ahead and check this out. So Milan Christopher says, let me tell you something. I am from Chicago and living in LA. It's one thing that I have learned is some of these celebrities lie and make up news more than any motherfuckers on the planet. Then he goes on to say, after my several posts in support of him, I now had to go back and delete them. Now I hope this wasn't awesome bullshit, bro. This is going to be really fucked up if he made this whole thing up. Shake my motherfucking head. Two white men with bleach, a noose, a rope, make America great again hats at 3 a.m. in the morning in negative 20 below weather. This story is very lifetime and we are talking about Chicago, which is a very metropolitan city. It's not Mississippi or Alabama, South Carolina, etc. I have never heard of such malicious attacks happening here and being born and raised in Chicago, but I stood with him because not sure why anyone would make up something like this as crazy as it may have seemed. But none of these pieces are coming together according to authorities and even several witnesses. This is crazy, shake my head. I mean, at the end of the day, celebrities lie just like everybody else. Maybe it was a bad date that went south or something. He was too embarrassed to say it when arriving at the hospital. I don't know. Second day into the investigation, so time will tell. But let's all be happy he's okay and see how this story pans out. I hope he's telling the truth. Then he goes on to say... Y'all always want me to be honest about everything and be transparent with who I am and what I believe, speak my truth and opinion from my heart to y'all. And I try to do just that at all times and I fight every day for my community and will continue to do so. But I don't believe everything I hear and read. I'm sorry, I don't. I like to investigate, look at what we know as facts and then move forward. Well, I'm sorry, but yes, at this point in my career, I'm skeptical of any news surrounding high profile people because it's always some machine behind their moves or embarrassing pride behind what they chose to share or not about the truth. I know firsthand I want to believe this incident happened and was enraged for 24 hours. But after hearing there was no 911 call placed at all and two white men with bleach, nooses, a rope, make America great hat again at 3 a.m. in the morning in negative 20 below weather, who didn't go all the way through with whatever, no DNA evidence after being attacked, the person didn't call the police and drove themselves to the hospital in a huge metropolitan city like downtown Chicago, not one surveillance picture captured any of it, sounds fucking sketchy to me. Now I'm looking further into the story, period. I love y'all, but if my opinion offends anyone, that's lame as fuck because we are not always going to agree or believe in the same ideals. Don't get mad that our opinions differ. State your opinion and move on. I'm not here to offend. I'm here to enlighten and be enlightened. I want to believe that everyone is good and honest, but people, the truth of the matter is everyone is not. Now, ironically enough, the last tweet that Jesse posted on Twitter was the following. Jesse took to Twitter and he posted this. He said, frauds are everywhere, y'all. Protect the mind, the heart, and spirit of you and your people at all costs. Just remember, salt, cocaine, and anthrax can all appear to be sugar. The refined kind, of course. Just be careful out here, fam. Happy Sunday. Love you. Real talk. Love on. Honey.
All right, so you guys just heard what Milan Christopher had to say, and I'm not going to knock him. I think whenever something hits the mainstream media, I don't care if it's dealing with a celebrity or a regular person, I think people have the right to look thoroughly into things and to really investigate and to really second guess the information that's being given to them. How many stories have we done, you know what I'm saying, where we all ran on emotion thinking it was what it was and then it came out it wasn't the situation. Just like with the young girl Jasmine Barnes, when it came out that, you know, her killer was some, you know, racist white man, then come to find out it was two black guys who ended up accidentally shooting the girl. So this entire situation is crazy, but I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys some more stuff that people are saying online. Go ahead and check this out. So now, according to a local Chicago news reporter, his name is Rob Eglass, he's saying that Jussie refused to turn over his cell phone after telling investigators he was on the phone with his manager during the assault. So this is what the person is saying here. Chicago police confirmed that Jesse Sumlut and his music manager, Brandon Moore, told detectives that they were on the phone when Sumlut was attacked. However, the detectives are unable to independently verify that the call occurred because Sumlet refused to turn over his cell phone. Now to the surveillance camera. Images slash video of Sumlet and who the police call potential persons of interest. Detectives used the time code from the two different cameras to piece together Sumlet's movements when he was near them. On one camera, they are seated at a bench. The other camera shows Sumlet across the street. Police say both Sumlet and the person of interest walk out of frame on different cameras. Sumlet will reappear on different cameras about a minute later. So basically for about 60 seconds, Sumlet is not on surveillance camera. Let me clarify. On one camera, the person of interest are seated on the bench across the same street that Sumlet is seen walking. Sumlet is recorded on that different camera walking. The person of interest are also seen walking, but on the other side of the same street. The next time Sumlet is seen on surveillance camera, he is entering a condo building. Police says he now has a rope around his neck and is wearing it like a necktie. About a minute, maybe less, has passed since he was seen on video. Sumlet, according to investigators, walks into the building, walks by building security, gets onto an elevator. This video is better quality, according to detectives, and what appears to be rose salt on his sweatshirt. Sumlet would go to an acquaintance's home, and that is where the police arrived to take his report. Okay, so that is what one of the local news reporters in Chicago is reporting. And then I was sent this message this morning. Go ahead and check this out. So this person called TJ the Chicago Kid is saying this. Was your boy telling the truth? Jesse, that was a cute story that you told. Now tell us how you was all up on Grinder and got lured out to go get some street meat by some dudes looking to beat up a gay guy. Because... I and every other native-born Chicagoan can tell you that your ass wasn't out walking around in Streetville area that's right off the lake at 2 a.m. walking to get Subway. You was out there walking to get some meat, but it wasn't Subway. It was some street meat. You ain't never heard of Uber Eats, Grubhub? Chicago restaurants stay open 24 hours, but you're not walking in sub-zero temperatures. Your sandwich would have been frozen 10 feet from the entrance. And what mega supporters recognize you? Because your face was covered up in those temperatures and they had a bottle of bleach? Stop it, Jussie. It's okay. We've all been caught out in situations we put ourselves in. Charge it to the game. It's dudes out here looking to set up gay dudes. You got caught, youngster. Nobody deserves to be assaulted and attacked because they're gay. Black, white, midget, whatever. But next time, tweak your story better. Because being born and raised in Chicago and having sworn to never go back around this time of year, no matter what, ain't no way I'm believing your version of events. Honey... All right, so I just read all that stuff to you guys. So there's definitely a different picture being painted, and it's not just coming from, you know, racist, you know, Magna supporters. This is coming from people in the gay community that are also now starting to question Jesse's story. The more information that's come out, the more it's just sounding kind of fishy. You know, was he really attacked viciously as what was initially reported? You know, was this a date gone wrong? Was this some kinky sex, you know what I'm saying? Because you do have people who like to have sex with ropes and chains and, you know, they're all into BDSM and all that stuff. So, you know, who knows what the true story is. Hopefully more information will come out. Like I said, they do have the surveillance camera. They do see a rope around Jesse's neck. But they're saying that he's walking around wearing it like a necktie. 
you know, I don't know what to think because like I said, Jesse has never been problematic. He's never been, you know, involved in fuckery. You know, you don't really see him out there on social media just wiling out. Yes, he has cussed out Donald Trump a few times, okay? You know, he has done that. But I've never seen him in any problematic situation. So honestly, I don't know what to think. But again, I go back to my original statement. No one deserves to be attacked regardless of their race, gender, sexual orientation. Nobody deserves to be brutally attacked. But again, anybody who comes out with a story, I don't care if you're a celebrity or a regular person, stories need to be checked, rechecked, and verified. So that way we know truth from fiction. There's a lot of fake news being spread out here by the mainstream media and by other people. And I really, truly hope that this is not that situation. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. You know, this might be a video that upsets some of y'all. But like I said, I'm always going to show all aspects, okay? I'm always going to be unbiased. You know, initially, when I first heard he was jumped and beat up, I felt super bad for him. You know what I'm saying? But then as more information came out, I'm like, okay, now there was a noose. Now there was bleach. We're all done with this polar vortex. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. That's one of the coldest times you can be out. Something is not right because if you go out in those type of temperatures, you got to have on a hat, a scarf, especially if you're walking. So it's like... People are going to be bundled up at that time. How were you able to even know if they were white Magna supporters if they had on ski masks covering their face from the elements? So I don't know. The whole situation is just kind of sketchy. But again, we're going to have to wait to see how all this plays out. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Do you feel like, you know, now that more information has come out, are you giving this story the side eye? Or do you feel like everything that Jesse said is the truth and he'll be vindicated? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. All right. Deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.